In today's video, we're off to Bangalore Airport, not because we're traveling, but because there's actually an amazing food court. Did you know Bangalore Airport has this whole outdoor area where you can get anything from snacks, quick refreshments, but also have a full sit down dinner in the restaurants. In this video, we're exploring what a day out here looks like. Hi, my name is Ivana and I live in Bangalore. Today, we are heading out to Bangalore Airport, the main airport, because there is a whole restaurant and cafe area over there i've never managed to make a video about it and today i thought that will be a really really fun day out so let's do this and have some fun here's some fun facts about bangalore airport the airport has been named after the founder of Bangalore, Nada Prabhu Hiria Kempegowda. Kempegowda Airport is the third busiest airport by passenger traffic and total cargo handled in India behind the airports of Delhi and Mumbai. It is the 29th busiest airport in Asia, handling almost 11 million passengers in the calendar year 2020 with 311 aircraft movements a day. Pretty cool, right? But is it also a cool place for a day out? Let's see! Upon arrival, there are two popular places to grab a refreshment after a long journey. For the coffee lovers, Hadi Kapi offers a South Indian specialty filter coffee. But if you have a preference for chai, Chai Point is definitely the place to be. Hi. Namaste, uh, namaste. Can I have a large ginger chai, sugar free? Yes, ma'am. And the rolls. Oh, wait. I haven't seen the rolls. Um. Can I have a veg puff also? We've been driving around singing songs way too loud because we wanna Picking up a love friends for love to cart to lip best because we wanna we wanna Yeah we just wanna have fun I mean does the start of any food video in India get better than this? I have some extremely hot chai over here from chai point they make really really good ginger chai and i got a veg puff here i haven't had a veg puff in the longest of time what should i do first okay the chai is going to burn my mouth so i'll let it cool off for a bit but yeah let's see wait first plain veg puff then i'll add ketchup later okay that is insanely fresh we even got some coriander and mint chutney over here i'm usually especially for veg pubs puff pubs puffs i usually only stick to ketchup and this ketchup is impossible to open okay got it got it omg yes coriander and mint chutney i have never seen it packaged like this let's see Ooh, that's quite some thick coriander and mint chutney first ketchup only especially in monsoon season, which it is right now. You can also see the sky turning so dark. It's so nice to have something hot with your hot chai, something nice and fried. Mm. Okay. Mm. Basically, it's really a curry puff with some vegetables in there and some spices. That looks amazing. Let me try it with that mint chutney. Oh. That's actually really good. I did not expect that. That's a good mint coriander chutney. Wow. It's quite spicy. So if you can't handle spicy food, this might not be for you, but um. time for the chai. I got a large ginger chai. Look how big the cup is. A lot of my Indian friends call me crazy because I literally drink chai from big mugs. You're actually supposed to drink it from like those 100 ml cups and then drink multiple cups spread out through the day and I'm like you know what just give me a tub <laughs> so hot it's so freaking good oh chai point I love you this is an amazing terrific start of our little trip to the airport now it might sound strange coming to the airport for a day out but actually even before the pandemic i sometimes used to come here for dinner or hang out for a while after coming off a flight it's because about three years ago campagoda airport got an expansion with this wonderful food drinks and shopping area at one point they were even organizing music concerts here but of course the pandemic had to ruin everything 
Being here after a long time actually feels very refreshing and gives hope for the future. As a day out, your first thought, however, about airport food might be that it's super expensive. And some things really are. If you want to try Indian street food, it will probably be twice the price here than it would be in the city. But for foreigners in particular, I might actually recommend to pay a little extra because the hygiene standards here are high. I'm a buy, I'm a buy plane ticket Run away by myself for a minute There are also plenty of other cuisine options and the vibe of the restaurants is very modern. One of my favorite shops, however, is the Nandini counter, where you can find a lot of sweets from the Karnataka dairy manufacturer Nandini. It's really not a small area at all. There's plenty of space to walk around, enjoy the beautiful greenery, and it's actually good for families, but also couples as well as groups of friends. By the way, note, this is a non-sponsored video. I just went here on my own because I needed a break from city life and airports always give me that sweet feeling of adventure. Throw in some amazing food like here at Campagoda Airport and for me it was absolutely a treat to come here and share this experience with you. Especially because I discovered this Belgian fries truck and the food prices turned out to be everything but expensive. I'll get back to that in a bit but first we're off on another little food adventure in an amazing international supermarket I discovered. This is nuts. I didn't know they had Tim Tams. So in case you don't know Tim Tams, Tim Tams are a very, very tasty Australian biscuit. These are my favorites actually. Okay, this is chocolate biscuits with vanilla and this is chocolate biscuits with chocolate. But they have a very particular taste. It's not like just chocolate biscuits with a chocolate cream. Try it out. How expensive are these? Oh, these are expensive, 280 rupees. But I do think they're worth it because I was watching MasterChef Australia and Jock was going crazy on Tim Tams in one of the episodes and I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't had Tim Tams in forever. So if you are looking for some exotic biscuits, treats, and um, you are willing, well, actually not to splurge, there are plenty of things which are not expensive. But if you want to try Tim Tams, then you will have to splurge. But if you just want to try out some other things, then this is your store. This is so much fun. Yeah, I think this is a sign <laughs> that at one point or another, we should go to Australia. I'm completely addicted to MasterChef Australia. Tim Tams, love them. Just never thought of Australia. And maybe this whole pandemic thing has made me realize that maybe, maybe I should go to Australia and see what, uh, what it's all about. <laughs> I always thought that Australia was really far away. I think even from here, you would have to fly to Singapore first and then get on a 12-hour flight to Melbourne, I guess, or something like that. And from here to Singapore is also like two, three hours. So it's a long flight, but who knows? It's probably worth it. Whoa, guys, look, they got bounty cookies. I have never even seen this in my life. And then Galaxy cookies, Skittles cookies, wait, how much are these? These are 600 rupees. Yeah, you'll definitely have to splurge for these. But yeah, maybe as an experience, it's worth it. I always see these kind of things as an experience. I mean, you don't have to buy it every week, right? But if you want to try something new, why not try bounty cookies? How much are these? Let's see, 500. Okay, okay, cool, man, cool. <gasps> these must be really good. Oh, look with a vanilla cream filling. How much are these? 580, okay, maybe I should get out of this biscuit section.
Actually, I also discovered a few quirky shops and it was fun exploring what they had to offer. I definitely invested in some goodies. So some things are more expensive and other things are not that expensive. So I got the smoked flavored chips. These are only 75 rupees, which I think is a pretty good deal to try new things. And then I got uh, the chocolate bears. <laughs> and I got the Tim Tams because I was talking about it with my flatmate and um, my flatmate never tried Tim Tams. So I thought I will bring this with me. The total bill was, including a very, very cute bag that can be used for gifting, 450 rupees. Pretty steep for three things, I have to say, but at the same time, that shop made me so, uh, how do you say that? Not emotional, but it definitely made me miss travel so much. There are goods from everywhere, from Korea, from Indonesia, from, where's the smoke chips from? I don't know, it looks something, Oh, actually, there's also from Indonesia, but yeah, it made me think about my time in Malaysia and in Thailand. Ah, by now, I'm really, really starting to miss travel and the shop was just a really great experience. I had the best time at the airport. Unfortunately, I have a very, very um, urgent deadline and they didn't have power plugs in the restaurants where I wanted to work. So. If you're thinking about working at the airport, that's not a good idea. But if you want to have some snacks, apparently they have, I got this to go, Belgian fries. Look at that, guys. I need, I, I couldn't leave without those. So, uh, yeah, well, that's not really Belgian fries. Belgian fries are very, very thick. This is not very, very thick. This is an extremely risky operation in a car with a white pants but we're going to do it so they have this new place the belgian fries company trying the belgian dip it's kind of a fiesta sauce that we have in the netherlands it's mayonnaise mixed with some herbs and spices mm, definitely recommend it it's good very tasty i just wanted some plain mayonnaise but they didn't really have that and as a dutch i need something like that at least resembles a mayonnaise mm -hmm. try the belgian dip that works that's nice. <laughs> These fries were like less than 100 rupees. So I think that's very reasonable and it's a really nice experience. Have you been to the airport already for a meal or a drink? Let me know down in the comments below. I usually used to have like a drink or sometimes even a meal there whenever I arrived from a trip. I hope that will be sometime soon. I'm just still too scared to leave the state Karnataka because you need a negative PCR um, report when you come back and I, I just find the risks not worth it to travel right now but yeah if you would like to have a little bit of a uh, travel feels then definitely take a trip to the airport and of course you can share this video with other people who you want to take with you or if somebody else needs to take you if you enjoyed this video make sure to put a thumbs up or a fry up <laughs> make sure to subscribe to my channel and join 230,000 other subscribers it's free and then you'll get a notification whenever i upload a new video hopefully traveling anytime soon thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye